Fall is officially here, which means the flu virus is primed and ready to hit our households. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Roly Hoyt. And I'm Faith Woodard. The lessons we've all learned during the coronavirus pandemic have kept the flu at bay, but this year may be different. THV 11's Julissa Garza shows us how the Department of Health is trying to get ahead of the virus. It's the time of year where sore throats and stuffy noses take the spotlight. We know it all too well, flu season. We're coming into fall and winter. Fall and winter are when all respiratory viruses seem to do their worst. Because of this, the state health department is rolling out flu vaccine clinics in an effort to get more Arkansans to roll up their sleeves. This flu clinic here in Jefferson County is just one of many that you can find throughout the state. Through the rest of the month of October, um, likely in, into the end of the month, and then there might even be some that go on uh, into November. ADH Medical Director for Immunizations, Dr. Joel Tumlison, says so far they haven't seen significant numbers of flu cases in the state. Generally picks up often in November, um, runs through late March, maybe April, depending on the year. But he has a hunch the numbers will be higher this year than they have been the last two. The reason? Fewer preventative measures. Well, the last two flu seasons have been much milder. Two years ago was really, really low. I mean, cases were at or below the baseline level due to all the measures that people were taking from COVID. Which is why he and other medical experts are urging people to take precautions now, not only to protect themselves, but the most vulnerable too. Ages zero through five months can't be vaccinated yet, so we need to protect them by vaccinating their family and those around them. Uh, also, elderly people, 65 and older, are much more vulnerable to a serious case of the flu that could hospitalize them. And with COVID-19 still in the air, Dr. Hopkins recommends getting an updated COVID booster with your flu shot. If we don't what, do what we can to protect ourselves with vaccination, with boosters, with masks when we're around others that we don't know what their status is, we're taking a chance. Julissa Garza, THV 11 News. According to the Department of Health, the flu is spread through coughing or sneezing and by touching contaminated surfaces. Hand washing can help prevent the spread, but doctors say the flu shot is the best protection against the virus.